So we reached out to the officials and uh, not only did we get a lot of support in terms of corporate connects, but eventually we ended up raising investments. Hi, so my name is Raman Talwar. I'm the CEO at Similanis. We at Similanis are creating virtual reality and augmented reality applications for industrial training. So we do so across industries such as pharmaceutical, manufacturing, automotive, oil and gas, energy utilities and other sectors. I started this idea in 2013 when I returned from the UK. Um, I started there as a chemical engineer and then uh, worked there within the industries, uh, particularly pharmaceutical manufacturing, where the problem which I had seen was that whenever a new person joined the company, uh, he was always given a stack of papers uh, to read, uh, which we called as the standard operating procedures. Uh, I realized that uh, it was very difficult for a new person to read all of those documents and go to the plant shop floor and execute uh, all the activities as written on the paper. So that was the genesis of the idea and the entire idea was to gamify the entire standard operating procedure document so that we could create it into a visually stimulating uh, piece of work uh, which eventually could enable the people to learn better and retain their knowledge for much longer. So we started out by doing so across on desktop platforms. Uh, we replicated it onto the mobile platforms and then eventually build a full stack a virtual reality solution around uh, this concept. Uh, in terms of our journey so far, so we've uh, come a long way. Uh, we've spent more than eight years now in the sector. We are one of the leaders in the space. Um, when we started, there was not much action happening in this space. Uh, we were pretty much alone in terms of uh, creating the concepts and selling them to our customers. So we pretty much built the road uh, for this sector to start with in the country. And uh, over the years, uh, we've had a great amount of work which we've done and we've got a great amount of credibility as well for all the work which we've done over the years. Uh, we won the national award in 2017 from the Ministry of Skill Development, uh, which basically commemorated all the work which we had done in the skill development ecosystem. So now going forward, our plan is to scale up our offering and essentially work across in the skill development ecosystem and leverage XR technologies for skilling because we believe that this is the answer to the problems of inaccessibility and ensuring that everybody gets access to uh, learning environments which is not uh, typically possible. So this is in a nutshell of what we do. So we got to know about the incubator in 2018 and uh, we researched about the ways they could support us. So at that time uh, we, had, we were already a, a growing company uh, at that stage. So we reached out to the officials and uh, not only did we get a lot of support in terms of corporate connects, but eventually we ended up raising investments from corporate venture capital hubs uh, through them. So definitely um, that's been a big plus. Plus the fact was uh, at that time we were pretty much transitioning from a small office to a larger office and uh, the incubator at that time gave us a great option of, uh, of kind of you know um, coming over to the incubator and, and occupying a few seats uh, at a very nominal rate. So that was something which was definitely a plus point as well. Plus the infrastructure around the campus, it really meant that uh, even our product development activities uh, got accelerated as a result of it. So definitely the incubator had a lot of advantages for us to offer at that time.